Why wasn't there a, as they love to call them, root and branch investigation into exactly what this disgraced candidate said? Did they just take it on face value? Why has it been left to the media? And why, do you suppose, when the councillor, for he is a councillor, was addressing the meeting, why were there no, ooh, ooh, or oh, or what? What does it say of his supporters that they all just nodded along as we heard that all the old lines, Israel controls the media, or the Jews control the media, I'm sorry, whatever else it might be, where was that? Make no mistake, this idea that the Labour Party, I'm sure Sir Keir has done a lot of the work, I have no doubt. And by the way, I'm sure he's absolutely intent. That I do not question. But that ugly scourge is still present, isn't it? Let's turn to John, now Lord Man, who's a long-serving MP. He stood in Bassett Law for Labour for the thick end of two decades. He's now independent advisor, UK government on anti-Semitism, and is an independent beer and joins me now. When we hear that the Labour Party has rid itself of the scourge of anti-Semitism, what goes through your mind, John? Morning. Well, I think competence and efficiency in doing so. And if I was Starmer now, I'd be bringing the officials in who's let him down, who've interviewed Ali, who investigated on Sunday what was coming up, uh, and I'd get rid of them. You know, there, there are people, you, you, when you're a party leader, you're not the one who's meeting Councillor Ali and others, you have people who do it for them. Those people have failed to get their act together, they've created a mess, and the poor people are watched it. Look at the choice they've got. You know, Mr. Danchuk, who uh, had to leave in Scabdal, Ali, Galloway, <laughs> what kind of choice is that for any electorate? The poor people of Rochdale are left suffering now, um, with the likelihood they're going to have, uh, you know, one of one of those three getting in, which is a nightmare for them. John, is the party still in parts anti-Semitic? Well, there's anti-Semitism manifesting all over the country. Uh, there's clearly some in the Labour Party, but we shouldn't ignore the fact that, you know, look what's happening in the universities, Leeds University, Birmingham University. The worst things I've seen in many years there in terms of the the brutality of the anti-semitism that's going on you know and I, i'm dealing with this literally every waking hour firefighting assisting jewish people who are being targeted targeted in industry targeted in the culture the sports world all over this is happening we have a tornado of anti-semitism working through the country and the political leaders need to get their collective acts together to sort this out and the fact that there's a Labour candidate in this position it's, to be honest, it's hardly a surprise um, somebody should have sorted this out before this man became a candidate. John the initial defence prior to the U-turn seemed to be that Councillor Ali had fallen for an online conspiracy theory. <clears throat> so it's an excuse of naivety rather than anti-Semitism or intent. What did you make of that line? No, the only, the, 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 the only reasonable case for delay was there were people in the Jewish community. I, I was speaking to a number of people. Um, uh, the Labour Party chose not to get back to me when I contacted them, but I was speaking with a number of people in the Jewish community worried about the consequences that Galloway could end up winning because of this and was saying, what on earth do we do? You know, whatever happens, we're the losers in this. You know, so, so one of the leading Jewish figures said to me, you know, why does it have to be us who has to deal with this kind of rubbish all the time? You know, why, why are we the ones being hit by this? Yes. I thought that's a perfectly valid question. Who was it you were trying to contact within the party? Well, senior figures. Um, and, yeah, well, I mean, they didn't bother getting back to me. All I can say is more fool them. What does more that, fool them. What does that tell you about the determination to root out anti-Semitism, John? Well, what it says to me is that Starmer needs to change uh, some of the people he's got around him because they failed to act. The, you know, the, it was known. It was known that there was more from Ali. That was known yesterday morning. That didn't suddenly come out yesterday evening. Um, 
how do I know? Someone told me. And it wasn't a journalist or someone in the media who told me. And uh, they should have acted more effectively. Was it someone locally who told you? Well, this, this was... This was someone in the in, in, in the nose they were in contact with as well. Stam has been let down by the people around him, badly let down. He needs to show his real leadership. He's got rid of Alec, that's the right thing to do. But there's people who've let him down. He needs to actually be uh, more than just kicking them because that's not a way to be running right. a political party. I think that they've acted as quickly as they could. And they've certainly acted quicker than I've ever seen the Tory party act when they've had, you know, you think of Pincher, you think of the two people they had last September time that were had links with China and they had everybody come in on the telly, all their Terrible. big guns saying jolly good chaps, jolly Terrible. good, you Absolutely. know. Yeah. And, 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 and this is why I trust Labour more. You've just had a minister on there who he couldn't even answer your awkward question about... How much time is it going to take before they, these things can be enforced? They're, they vacillate. They haven't got an answer. But They're saying, t Tories are saying all the time, oh, you know, we haven't done it for 14 years, but we promise we'll Michael, do it this year. Michael, if yeah. you were listening to John Mann, now Lord Mann, who was a Conservative MP for, uh, a Labour, Labour MP for 19 years, he was trying yes. to get hold of Labour High Command yesterday. He picked up that there was more to this council. He still hasn't had a, full, a call back. I'm not, I'm not defending the way that Conservatives dealt with Pincher and other affairs. It was lamentable. But this is equally lamentable. Yeah. It was inept, well, Michael. You can't... Well, it, there may be a touch of ineptness to it, but it took them a few days, not weeks and weeks, until they were forced into making a decision. Repeating the trope that the Jews control the media is just nonsense. Well, yeah, I agree. It is nonsense. But that's, uh, but... So that's what he said, sir. That's what you have to realise. But then what about everything else that he said? So, OK, we disregard what he said there and we take issue with that. Well, did but you hear his argument? Did you hear his argument, Lee? I've been to yes. Israel and I know it's oh. difficult to get out of the airport because so obviously they turned the security off. I mean, please, that is risible. If, if a reporter if a reporter had filed a story to me when I was a news editor, along that, well, what's it based on, John? Well, they're very tough at the airport, honestly, mate. Just go but it wasn't, that wasn't just what he said, though, was it? He also said about how, how when he was travelling around and the different towns that he went to. So, I'm, not trying, <laughs> I'm not trying to defend this guy, just to be very clear. I'm not yeah. trying to defend him, but what I'm saying is he, he had an experience and he had an opinion. Now, that opinion, forevermore now, has been shut down. Well, I personally, he's entitled to his opinion until it verges into anti-Semitism. And I say again, aspects of that are known, age-old anti-Semitic, not to do with Israel, but that anti-Semitic trip, Jews control them. I've heard that when I worked in the US. I hear it when I worked in the UK. And it's as much drivel in the US as it is in the UK. But Lee, have a safe drive.